is Mira. I graduated from Macy University in 2020. Studied marketing. Now I am working at one of the interior design company in Zhejiang, China as a designer. Hi, my name is Nisha. I graduated from the University of Auckland in 2021 studying the Bachelor of Commerce Honours. I am currently working at Suncorp New Zealand. I graduated from Mass University in 2021, studied Marketing Finance. Now I'm working at Yonghua Futures. Now I am working as an accountant in a power construction company. Now I'm working at an IT company as a web developer. I finished my degree in New Zealand at Mass University on the Bachelor of Communication. And currently I'm working at New Oriental School as an English teacher. I'm currently working at a training company as a salesperson. I graduated from University of Auckland in 2022, studied media and communication. Now I'm working at Tencent Company. Hi, I graduated from the University of Auckland, currently looking for a job at Auckland. My name is Xin and I come from Guangzhou, China, which is a city that fuels a lot of delicious food. I moved to Auckland in 2010 with my parents. I studied Bachelor of Commerce, majoring in Accounting and Finance, and I completed my degree at the end of 2021. Ten years ago, when my family moved to New Zealand, we have faced a lot of difficulties. For example, language barriers and how to engage in a society. But my parents sacrificed themselves a lot to provide me a good learning environment. So at the end of high school, I decided to find a few of the part-time jobs to reduce their pressures and to pay back what they've done to me in the past few years. I got my first part-time job when I was in high school. My job was working at a fish and chip shop. At there, I worked as a front of house, which is taking orders, processing payments, and helping my workmate to wrap up the food and then sending it up to customers. So started from them, I started to pay off my own study expense and the living costs well. So for example, the year 13 came and the weekly one-on-one -on -one flew tutorials. Why I do this? Because I want to be independent and I don't want to rely on my parents. And then I got my second job at 2018, which was my first year of uni. I was working as a part-timer at one of the bubble tea shops. I mainly serving customers by taking orders and sending up drinks. At the same time, I also have an other job working at Biam Biam Noodles. So it's very similar to what I did in what the bubble tea shop, like um, serving customers, processing the payments, and sending the orders out. In 2021, I got my third job, working as a receptionist at the Art Engagement Centre at the University of Auckland. I think this is one of the most interesting jobs I ever worked with because I have engaged with students and I love engaged with students. I also have a lot of volunteer experience. For example, in 2017, I work as a staff at SPCA, which stands for Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to the Animals. This teaches me responsibility skills and organizing skills. At 2019, I volunteer myself as a children manager of Cantonese Student Society of Auckland, which is one of the cultural clubs at the University of Auckland. So for this role, I have to prepare budget for each of the events and manage the club's bank accounts. In 2020, I volunteer myself as a career leader at the Business School of University of Auckland. So for this one, I have to manage events which is networking with a lot of employees and also checking students' CVs and their cover letters. In 2021, I have been elected as the president for the Mandarin English Exchange Program. Hi everyone, my name is Shane. I'm the president of Mandarin English Exchange Program this year. We are the club that focuses on bringing the Chinese and Kiwi community together. So for this one, I have a lot of responsibility because I have to manage the whole club and manage the whole events.
I am graduated from Massey University in 2022. Started Bachelor of Business. Now I'm working at TikTok in I China. I graduated from the University of Waikato in 2021 and studied computer science. Now I'm working at DSP. Hey, my name is Jing Tao and I was in Massey University studying Bachelor of Communication. And currently I'm working in the marketing industry. I graduated in 2021. Now I'm currently working in IDU Car. I graduated from Massey University in 2021. I studied the Bachelor of Arts. My major is Linguistics. Now I am a Chinese I graduated teacher. from Massey University in 2021. I study Computer Science. I'm working in Subway for part time job. I used to study in the University of Waikato. I studied IT and graduated in 2021. I am currently working in the IT. I graduated from from Massey University in 2019 with a major of media studies and a minor of theater studies. Now I'm working for a theater company as a stage manager. So I graduated in 2020 and this is my working experience under the COVID-19 circumstances in New Zealand. My name is Shinshan and I'm from China. I came to New Zealand when I was two years old. So I grew up here in Auckland. Um, I went to high school at Maro School Grammar and I graduated from the University of Auckland with a Bachelor of Architectural Studies in 2020. I'm currently working at an architectural design firm called TSQ. Some of my hobbies include drawing, photography, playing piano and violin, and also really like traveling. Um, in my high school years, I joined a lot of music groups such as string orchestra. I was in the show band for our school production and also a um, chamber music group. And what I enjoyed most was the creative subjects that I took in high school, such as painting, design, and graphics. And I think this is a major factor in deciding um, what I wanted to do for university and why I chose to do architecture. During university, I also joined one of the social clubs and did graphic design, helped them design their advertising posters and their social media posts. I think this helped me improve my design and software skills a lot. I think University of Auckland is very theory-based with their courses, so they encourage you to think more creatively and be as imaginative as you can with your ideas and your projects. I went on exchange to College Dublin in Ireland. They were more practical with their design courses. I think this helped me a lot for my job because when you're working, of course your ideas have to be more practical because it has to be built. But University of Auckland really helped me to express my creative thinking ideas. So after graduating, I wasn't planning on directly looking for a job. I wanted to continue with my master's degree. However, I happened to hear about this job opening and so I decided to try and take this opportunity. But I didn't hear from them for quite a while, so I decided to start my master's. During my master's, they had a course where they would connect, they would invite graduated students who are successful in the field of architecture to come and answer some of our queries that we had. So connecting us with them sort of gave us an insight into what working in architecture would be like. University of Auckland really encourages our creative thinking skills. Um, I think it also built a really solid foundation for my technical knowledge that helped me in my work. Also, another aspect is we would always have presentations during each of our semesters at the end of each project. It really helped us to think thoroughly, express our ideas clearly, um, because you want to sort of sell your idea, your project, and convince others um, that your design is how you want it to be. The university is also largely focused on your collaboration skills, um, working as a team. So we'd have a lot of group projects throughout our bachelors. So there was one semester in university where we spent a whole semester as a group to finish one project. I think this was very beneficial in helping our collaboration and teamwork skills. Also because it was quite large scale, being in a team was very helpful because you split the workload and because we had so many different spaces we had to design. Being in a team, you bring a lot of different thoughts and design ideas to create one final design. 
So one of my most favourite projects that I did in university was our group project which we completed in a group of eight. Uh, the brief asked us to design a new educational and learning centre on campus. Um, I think for group projects, it was really beneficial for us because when you're in a group, you bring a lot of different ideas to the table and you're constantly discussing your ideas, which help develop it further. And I think it's more efficient than designing by yourself because you are constantly prompting each other to think of your design ideas. Most of my work experience and volunteer experience, for example, work in a bubble tea shop and fish and chips. I am dealing with Chinese customer or a Chinese organizations. This is because I am but shy and also I lack of confidence to apply for a Kiwi business. I very appreciate the work experience that I have. I have learned a lot from them. For example, leadership and multitasking. So for leadership, I am the president for the club for a year. So through this, I've been lead a lot of events, big and small, through the years. And for multitasking, for example, in a bubble tea shop, I've been serving a customer, doing kitchen work, and making a drink in the same time. For the witnesses for job seeking right now, I can say that I'm least confident in public speaking, um, especially during the interview, and a lot of people as well. So I'm a bit shy of representing myself to speak up. So people were like, oh, why aren't you speaking? I would be like, um, sorry, I'm a bit shy. My second weakness, I can say, um, I'm lack of experience of professional job because I have a lot of other experience like customer service in food industry and I've done a lot of volunteer as well. But I don't have much of the experience that related to my career field. So I would say that is one of the big weakness compared to other people that apply into the same job. Since I graduated from the university, I would like to find a job that I'm interested in and also it's in Auckland. Those shops are like finance trader, office administrator or assistant of accountants. Those are not just because I'm interested in but also most of my family members are working in this type of field so they can give me more constructive feedback and their valuable experience. Those are my short-term goals. For a long-term goal, maybe like 5 to 8 years times, I want to become a charter accountant or a charter financial analyzer in a big company. For after a few weeks of studying, I received a call from them. Uh, I was very surprised and it was very unexpected. Um, they wanted to have an interview. Um, however, I decided to take this opportunity and I went quite successfully and they offered me an intern for about a month where I worked there part-time. After my intern, my director asked if I wanted to take as a full-time job. It was very hard for me to decide because I still wanted to continue with my master's but I felt that what I was learning at the workplace, it was very beneficial and a bigger learning curve for me than what I would learn at university. So I really didn't want to give up on this opportunity. In the end, after a long time of thought, I finally decided to take up the job offer. So that's where I am right now. What I do every day at work um, varies because we're given several projects to work on at a time. Basically, we just work through them step by step. But normally we would alternate between using two different computer softwares. We would use AutoCAD for all our 2D drawings, um, such as floor plans and elevations. And then we would use SketchUp to do all our 3D modeling. Um, and this is for all our final renders um, for visualization purposes. This is also my favorite part because you get to all the vegetation and all the effects for your um, final drawing and it's quite interesting. I also regularly 
um, communicate with other consultants, such as planners, traffic and civil engineers, and landscape architects. This is quite important throughout the process because we need to get their feedback to improve our design. Apart from that, so normally we would communicate via email, so I could send them all my drawings for them to review, and sometimes we would also use the phone to communicate. Basically, this is mostly what I do each day at work. At the beginning of 2020, COVID-19 started to spread worldwide and at the same time New Zealand started to go in lockdown. So this gave me a lot of negative impacts. For example, when I'm in doubt with my coursework, I cannot meet my literature or course code and later face to face. I have to email them, but the email reply usually is one to two days. It is but too late to solve my problems. And also, I cannot go to the library to study with my friends or do more of the research work. So this is the educational impact. For lifestyle, during the lockdown, I have to stay at home so I feel very lonely and I feel anxious of being isolated and I cannot socialize with my friends in person. During the lockdown period, many of the small business or company is been shutting down. So this including some of the famous companies in New Zealand. So as we can see that as a job seeker, although there's many job opportunities out in the market, but due to my experience and education levels, it is very difficult for me to find a suitable job. So there definitely has been quite a large impact um, on the career industry. Um, because of COVID and I think everyone's sort of quite aware of the impacts and, and the results from that. I think here in New Zealand um, we have a lot of additional elements to that that are happening in terms of what's setting up our economy as it's sort of sitting. I think for students I think it's really interesting to look at the fact that it is a candidate market at the moment. So it means that it has been really hard for the past two years for employers to to find workers and so therefore are uh, looking a lot at not only taking on a lot more Kiwis than they used to, but also looking to how can they develop our, our New Zealanders of all ethnic backgrounds um, so that we can uh, develop a stronger workforce so we're not sort of always reliant on skilled immigrants coming in. So I think that sort of, it lends well for students leaving the university um, it definitely means that um, you still need to do all of the hard work, you still need to work hard on your grades, you still need to do all of the networking, um, but I think it is a far better environment to be graduating in than maybe this first year of COVID, there was an enormous amount of redundancies and it was a lot harder to find work. Or maybe after the GFA, uh, the global finance um, crisis, it was extremely hard then. So, I think at the moment it is definitely a positive time to be stepping out into the workforce. I think one of the difficulties when I'm just starting work is definitely transitioning from doing uni projects to practical projects in work because our university projects, they're quite free. It could be quite visionary, very imaginative, and there's no constraints for budget or materiality. You could do whatever you like, whereas the projects you do in work, they have to be quite practical because they have to be built. A lot of them have site constraints or depends on the client, some might have specific requirements. So there's a lot more constraints for each project and it's not as free as the projects you do in uni and sort of moving from doing these conceptual projects to projects in real life. Another one I think is after graduating you still have a lot of gaps in your knowledge and of course you'll slowly learn this um, as you gain more experience in your work. With regards to Chinese students, um, things that they will encounter will be exactly the same as everyone else <laughs> um, in terms of what they encounter. Um, largely depends on the networks that they have as well as um, the level of English and cultural understanding because there is um, an, an enormous amount of focus on um, team fit and culture fit within a company. 
So if they can bond and gel within that team, then they stand the same chance as the next person applying for the job. Uh, so during COVID, the housing market was really busy and a lot of architectural design companies, they were receiving a lot of projects and so there were a lot of job openings. So that's how I got my job because my architectural design firm I'm working at currently, they had employee shortages and so in a way I guess I benefited from COVID. Um, also because of the large amount of projects we were getting, I think this really helped me to grow a lot and learn faster because you're working on so many different projects at a time that you learn different things and it's probably a faster learning curve than if it was um, at a time when it's less busy. I think COVID for me, it mostly impacted on my social life. So because I live with my grandparents, so I really go out to eat now. Um, I really go to the restaurants because I feel like it's more dangerous if I leave the house. It increases my risk of being exposed to COVID. So I mostly just stay at home. Also, I don't really hang out with my friends in person anymore. We mostly just talk online, sometimes video call. I guess sometimes just staying at home and alternating between working and my normal life. I feel like it's quite boring because I'm missing out on a lot of activities that I would used to do before COVID. For example, my best friend Angela is currently studying at Melbourne. I was planning to go visit her, but due to COVID, this hasn't been able to happen. I really miss her. We haven't seen each other for about three years. And it's really frustrating and sad really that due to COVID, we're put in this situation. Um, before COVID, my grandma or our other family members, we'd go out regularly to buy groceries and now it's just my mum who takes care of all this and she goes to the supermarket a lot. I think because we want to reduce the risk of being exposed to the virus as much as possible to keep our family safe, so it's my mum that takes care of all this. Uh, recently, we moved back to work at home again because also my colleagues feel that they're more safer when working from home. And so basically, most of the time, I'm just staying at home. So this is my workplace, TS2. And due to Omicron, most of our employees are working from home now. And so our office isn't open to the public during normal office hours. So working from home, you miss out on that work culture that you have in the office. So before when we were in the office, we would have daily chats during lunch and a lot more interaction. Whereas when you're working from home, you feel like you're just working by yourself. Um, a lot less collaboration as well. And also um, separation from work and life is quite difficult when you're working from home. Sometimes even after work hours, you don't feel like you're fully off work. Hello, 
疫情嘅原因，你知啦，即係有兩年幾都冇過到嚟啦，係嘛？所以成到你知唔知爹哋好掛住你啊？嗯。大學畢業啦，咁、嗯、我就諗起你幼兒園嗰陣時畢業，俾張相你睇下。你睇下，你睇下，你你你睇下你自己以前嘅相啲咩嘅系咪？但系爹哋嘅爹哋好多时嘅心目中嘅相咧，就一成日谂起都就系好细个，但系一眨眼你谂唔到嘅，家已经大学毕业啦。咁样样都好啦，毕业咗以后咧，爹哋咧就希望你嗱，首先咧喺呢个时候咧，爹哋咧就好衷心咁样祝愿你咧身体健康先，家人能够抵抗一切嗰啲疫情，系咪先？然后跟住毕业以后咧。你將會進入到社會裏面工作啦、呃。我就希望妹妹咧學以致用，同時咧自己也中意一份工。出到社會你就要自己要去努力去面對，遇到一啲咩問題你都要自己去決策啦，知唔知啊？就好似細路仔嗰陣時咧，有咩事咧，屋企就爹哋媽咪咧仲可以誒、呃、幫到你，咁你自己要大個啦出到。不過我相信妹妹係得嘅，你有信心嘅話咧，你就咩都可以做得到嘅，可以做好嘅，係咪先啊？嗯一步一步都走過嚟啦，係嘛 ？OK 嘅，你你一定實 OK 嘅，能夠去面對有咩問題嘅話，各方面去,去解決就係啦嚇。笑下啦，誒多啲同爹哋溝通下，係咪爹哋好掛住你？咁你仲有啲咩同爹哋講啊？祝我就身體健康啦，之後、呃、希望可以就快啲過嚟我哋呢度咁咧，去一齊。得嘅，我相信得嘅，希望有揾到份自己滿意嘅喜歡嘅嚇，最緊。Last week, I found a job online, and I decided to apply for this job. So, this is a printing company. They did printing like printing on banner, um, T-shirt, and business card. Um, I feel excited and nervous in the same time because I just got a reply a few minutes ago about an interview. They want to have a short interview with me. They want to know more about me, and in the same time, I can get to know more about this company as well. I hope everything is okay with this interview, and I hope that I can get into this job. I have just finished a job interview and I was very nervous during the interview. Um, when I was in the waiting room, there's like five candidates is waiting and I'm the last one to be called into the interview room. Um, in the interview room, I was expecting there's only like two interviewers for like the interview but actually it turned out there's like four. So I was really shocked and it made me more nervous during the interview. Um, at the beginning, they asked me a question like um, do an introduction about myself and then ask me why do I apply for this job and why do I think like this job suit me. Um, I think I answered it fine until they asked me to do a practice phone call to trace up the outstanding payment for the customer. It is my first time to do the phone call and I was so so nervous and they only gave me like um, four minutes, you know, like it's not enough for me to do a preparation for this questions. Um, but anyway, I did. I tried my best to do this. So um, can you remember that I told you before? Um, I was shy and I'm very nervous for like doing anything, and so that's why I don't have much experience of doing interview, and I don't have much of the work related experience well so it's very hard for me to answer the work related question that been asked by the interviewer during the interview um anyway i feel like i did a big improvement of myself i applied for the kiwi company for the first time and also it is my first job interview after i graduated from the university but currently it's COVID, so we have to wear face masks all the time. And I wear my face mask during the interview. It is very difficult to hear what the interviewer asks me questions. And also, it's kind of like difficult for them to hear what I'm saying. But anyway, all the best.
Asia has a three month of the child period, and after three months, I can be promoted to a full time permanent worker. And I wish after three months, I can be promoted. So this is the place that I'm currently working at. So in the business, I work as an account and an administrator. So what I do is answering phone calls when my colleague is busy. Also, I deal with accounting stuff like using the software Zero to do the invoice tracing, invoice recording, and do the reconciliation so. I think I quite enjoy my current job right now. I'd like to stay there possibly for a few years. I'd like to gain experience, gain more knowledge before I continue my studies. I'd like to um, go to Australia and complete my masters. I have a few of my friends I met during architecture school. Um, they're currently studying in Sydney and Melbourne, um, their masters of architectural studies. They've been um, talking with me quite regularly and also possibly after I graduate with my masters I'd like to work in Australia as well. Um, I definitely think it's a good idea because the construction industry in Australia is much larger so there's a lot more job opportunities and there's also a larger range of firms that you could you know try out. I really like the feeling of a really busy and sort of modern city um, and I think Australia is a much bigger country with a larger population so after staying in New Zealand for around 20 years I want to go see the world and try living in a different environment for a change also I'm still young so I want to try take up as many different opportunities as possible I don't want to limit myself to just um, staying in New Zealand <laughs> For my job seeking experience, um, I want to improve my business knowledge at my career field. So for that, I want to further my study as a master's student at the University of Auckland. Yeah, I think it's a really good idea um, because it's really good to consolidate your knowledge because I also studied a little bit of a master's degree and I felt that the experience you learn um, when you're working is equally as valuable. Some advice that I would give to students is to uh, keep an open mind and I think don't constrain yourself that you won't have to follow a certain um, set path and take any opportunity that comes your way because I think for me I was quite stressed that I had to finish um, my two years of master's studies but actually um, once you look back, I feel like it's equally as important to also gain work experience as well. Yeah, I um, agree. Like for me, I think for my industry, it's better to have um, a higher education first mm -hmm. and then work because you're going to have more knowledge about this field and then it's easier to put into work. Mm, yes, I also agree with your point. But I think that for um, higher education, I think it's better if you want to get into a higher role. But um, I think currently um, trying to gain your experience during work is also really crucial. So I think, I guess just um, go with the flow. Thank you for sharing your experience with me and I wish you all the best for your studies. Um, thank you for that one and I wish all the best for your work and I hope you can be promoted to a higher role later on. Oh, thank or you. as soon as possible. Yep. Thank you. We are always wondering what's on the other side of the ocean. It's inspiring hope for a better life. Although the ocean contains danger and ruthlessness, 
we still seek what we need most. It can be courage, hope, or the engagement with others. COVID-19 make us to seek the inspiration of happiness and appreciation of what we have. It also brings us to think again, what is the purpose of life? As one of the Chinese New Zealanders across the ocean to this beautiful and new environment, we are using our way to find the value of life. It's about the journey, not the destination. No matter what we are looking for, take a few moments to appreciate the present. As a graduate, we've traveled a long way to get here. That's worth celebrating. Imagine our life is like sailing a boat to the ocean. We have picked up the skills necessary to sail our boats during our life. And we have a sense of where we are taking this boat. Life is also like the ocean. Sometimes, you have to navigate the boat against the waves. Although there are many barriers and setbacks we will encounter in our lives, we still think sunshine comes after the storm. We believe our courage can brave the wind and waves. For now on, I think the storm is past. It is necessary to learn to cherish what we are doing at present. I don't regret what I have done in the past because the most important thing is to look forward. My name is Shi. My name is Shinshin. It's ourselves who determine how our journey will be. And our journey has just begun.